Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to make this diagram here. You can see it starts from 0 and go to 100 and we in the material you can change the radius depending on how big and small you want it right and we have also a script and uh, that's controlling this bar round the script is controlling the um, everything and i show you in the first tutorial how you do it so you can check it out there so let's do this and we start off from an empty scene and we're gonna continue from the last scene so where are we well this is uh, where we left off in the last one so we're gonna um, copy this one here and move the other ones to the side And this one is going to be a round diagram. And we're going to make a round here. Also, I'm going to copy the name and create a um, shader graph. URP Sprite Unlit Shader Graph. <clears throat> and it's going to be round. Perfect. Also, from that shader, we're going to create a material with the same name, and we're going to drop this on the sprite. So if we now try the percentage, the text is working, so that's super nice. But the shader is empty, and we're going to address that right now. So if we go into the round um, <clears throat> shader, the first thing we're going to do is to make a tiling and offset. So everything here starts from zero in this corner, but we want to offset. So we have the center of this UV space, not to, well, the center values, not going to be down here. So you're here, zero, zero and one and one. So if we do negative, uh, let's see, one here. Yeah, okay. So if I do negative 0 0.1, negative 0 0.1, then we kind of um, have the center here. But um, what I actually want to do, I want to use the arc tan. So I want to use the arc tangent 2. And if we do um, a split, so this math function wants the x coordinate and the i coordinate. So if we do the green, uh, that's going to represent the i, and the red going to represent the x. Uh, we have it like this. So this is super nice. So. <clears throat> I was actually expecting us to need it to do tiling two by two and do this negative one to negative one because now it's zero here and one here. But before, before I changed this one, this was zero here, zero here, and zero dot five here. But it actually works. But I want these numbers because that's how I did in did it first time so i know it's gonna work so this one we want to change so we can um, let's see here so we have control over this um, position so the first thing we can do if we do a floor you see, this is where the value is one, and all this is one above one. So if we add this to the alpha, now we kind of, you see where we're going, right? And um, so we can add here float percentage. We're also gonna have the color. 
So the color is going to be in here. We have that finished setup. And this is the percentage. So now when we have this part, we, we want to kind of offset this. So if we do like this, we do an add. And we, if, we, if we plug in the percentage here, and the percentage is going to be between 0 and 1. So 1 is 100 percentage. So if we add here, you can see we are actually moving the circle. So this is super nice. And <clears throat> But there are some uh, hard values to work with. And the reason it is some hard values to work with is because it's um, um, calculated with the arc tangent. So it's like um, with um, uh, pi and stuff. So we need to remap it. So if we do a remap, so the input value is 0 to 1. And we actually, no, sorry, the input value is not 0 to 1. It's actually, um, it's actually, if we do a vector here, so you see here it's black, 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 black 0. Then it goes up, 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 up to above one. So what? So this is actually negative um, pi. And here it's zero, and here it's positive pi. So what I'm doing here is I do negate. I have the constant value pi. And we want to remap this. So if we have the positive pi in the x and the negative pi in the i and we do it as an input now you see i remap this from one to zero and this is super nice because now if we do the percentage and add here you see we have control and we can control it with a slider from zero to one so this is super good good to work with so mm, let's see yeah and maybe we kind of want this to be um we want it to start from the above here so let's say well first we add a mask so there is different way of doing this i'm going to show you one way here and another way in the next tutorial so if you do an ellipse here, and we can do, um, let's do here, we need a float radius big. We need a radius small. We have them here. And This radius big. Gonna control the outer part. So if I just uh, do here, I do an ellipse, and we're gonna do the radius small, gonna not be a little bit smaller. Then we just take this value, and we do a subtract. We just subtract the smaller one, we get this circle. And let's say we have the percentage to, well, 65%. The only thing we need to do is multiply these two together. And we have what we're looking for. So this is super nice. The, um, <clears throat> the, the, the only part, the only thing we might want to change here. Um, let's say you want this um, 
to start a little bit somewhere else. So now it's 24%, but you want it to start here and go like this. So this is start 50 and 100. The, it's pretty simple to do that. And the only thing we need to do is to offset the UVs. So if we do a uh, rotate node here, we plug it in and I'm just going to move it here so we see what's happening. So if we do, we do degrees and we change this one here, so it's going to be 180. And now we have it sorted out. So now when we do the percentage, we have it zero and then it goes to one. Perfect. And the last part I just want to do because I find it look more appealing. Uh, first off, we can just save this one and check it out how it looks. And here, if we do the diagram round and see the color. The color start could be red. Hmm. Well, it's not working. And that's because... Um, here, I have not added the correct material. So if we take the, let's see, yeah, so you see it's actually this one that I'm controlling. And that's not the right one. We want, um, we want the correct material and the material is the diagram round. So now you see it works, isn't that nice? So, here you have it. And also, if you want, you can. All right, this is how I want it. So here you can control the radius on this um, circle as well and you control it here super nice and the last part i want to add <clears throat> is to i want you know, i don't i doesn't want it to be totally cut off i want the uh, kind of 50 percentage opaque and the only thing we do we're going to do a max i'm going to add this one here but first we're going to multiply with 0 0.5. And now you see there is some 50 percentage cover over here. And then we have this result here. So I find this looks really nice. So now we have this super nice bar. So I really hope you liked this uh, tutorial and uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Oh yeah, I'm just going to cover one thing before. Um, if you want to know how the script is, this is the script. So when did I do the percentage here, this is the percentage um, here that I have plugged up to the color and the text. All right, thank you so much and see you in the next one.